daily fail. Tomorrow the Mail's blue passport petition goes to number 10. Will you add your name to the 286,000 who've already signed? What a shock. We actually want to produce our own stuff, eh? How long can you go, Mr Corbyn? Revealed militant Jewish group he parted with for four hours, mocked Judaism and made sickening attacks on Queen and Philip. Piss off. More lies in this bleeding rag. Number 10 hits back after Lab says he can't, we can't prove poison came from Russia. Oh, you mean the Russians didn't do it then? Then we've got to start looking at who actually did, haven't we? Oh, uh, let me think now. Who could have done it? Uh, our government. Our government did it. Daily Mirror. Is Corrie's evil Pat feeling the scariest man on TV ever? No, he's just a fictitious character in a, a programme that is designed to null you to sleep and keep you asleep and put you in that state where you won't be asking questions of who could possibly have poisoned these, these scripples, if anyone did. Terra Cops arrest two over plot to hit leisure complex. Queen's fears as Philip 96 to have up today. Frail Prince faces major surgery on his hip. Oh, well, at least he can get major surgery. What about all the old age pensioners that can't get it? But this parasitical scum, he gets whatever he wants. Telegraph. May attacks injustice of pay gap. Women's fight for equality at work is akin to struggle for the vote, says PM, as she calls on business to act. Businesses to act. Like she gives a shit. She gets the same Prime Minister wages that the previous lot got, so it makes no difference to her whatsoever. And at the end of the day, it's not like they spend any of the money because they just anything they, 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 they get, get, they claim expenses and you get to pay for it. And they get to keep all them at wages. Isn't that good, eh? How, how great this system is. Brownlee flies a flag as England's golden boy. Alistair Brownlee. Oh, it's just about the Olympics. Social media will be forced to get tough on gang violence. Yeah, you lot, stop being so ganging and violent, you know, because like Facebook says, stop it. So, okay. How are they going to enforce it, eh? Quite simple, they can't. Russia to blame, insists number 10, as scientists question origins of poison. We're still going to point the finger and say it's Russia, even though we've got not one shred of evidence. In fact, the evidence we do have suggests it wasn't Russia. But we're still going to blame Russia because our plan is to cause World War Three. And while we're in our deep underground bunkers and you lot get vaporised, well, it's part of the Agenda 21, Agenda 30, isn't it? That's the United Nations. If you want to look them up, if you haven't heard of them, United Nations Agenda 21, United Nations Agenda 30, both plans to depopulate the planet, which uh, unfortunately for you means you're going to die unless you t do something about it. Passengers prepare for chaos as air traffic controllers go digital. Oh, sounds like not a good time to fly then. Computers, AI is taking over. The Guardian. 50 years on, the radical legacy of Martin Luther King. Alarm over violent crime surge in the capital as girl 17 is shot dead. Well, all this, all this uh, violence seems to have come about since Khan got in. So maybe we need to get rid of that, that parasite and put someone who actually cares about it in that position. Because he certainly doesn't. UK chemical experts unable to confirm nerve agent made in Russia. We have not verified the precise source, 
The government also used other sources to piece together the, their conclusions. So in other words, not a shred of evidence anywhere that Russia was involved and even their own guys that are paid and bought for to, to put out the actual sort of stuff say well actually you know we we can't actually say where it come from uh, but we can say one thing it definitely didn't come from Russia Black Tuesday French railing chaos as staff stage protests against reforms it's happening all over the planet everyone's sick to death of the corrupt governments and it doesn't matter what country you're from if you've got a government then there's a 99.9% .9 chance it's a corrupt government as they're all corrupt particularly in the UK the most corrupt of all the times Corbyn defies defends joining in far left groups Passover satire whatever you do don't have a laugh because it'll be politically incorrect <sighs> why losing your money could cost you your life In the picture parasite scumbag just, I know you lot are equally as sick to death of these parasites as I am because they take, take, take. Oh, and just for good measure, in these times of austerity where we're all suffering, not these parasites, while we're all suffering, oh, we'll double the Queen's uh, wages because, you know, that, that's the sort of things you do in, in times of austerity. Oh, and who gets to pay them? Oh, cry, yeah, we do. May battles to preserve alliance against Russia. Damage limitation after Porton Down is unable to verify source of Salisbury poison. Well, I certainly can. The British government. The utterly despicable scum. Hospital for Parasite Philip, uh, Prince Philip, uh, no I was right the first time, Hospital for Parasite Philip, let's hope they keep him. Blood on our street, innocent Tanesha shot dead by gang, teen's murder is the 48th this year, she died in mum's arms and all because of corn. Now, apparently, Minister Adele I Married TV Allen, star ordained and ordained see please well one I thought he was gay and why would he marry her yeah but to find out I'd have to read read the uh, well there's no to read about it but to find out I'd have to read more than I'd, you know parasites Metro time to give your finances spring clean yeah, we would do, except we haven't got any because we've had to pay for the royal wedding, parasitical wedding. Oh, we're also going to have to put some money in towards the Queen's double her pen, double her uh, benefits. Yes, but does she ever get called to before Pip and get an assessment and it turns out she's fit for work and in fact she's never done a day's work in her life so she, she's going to start now hard labour for the rest of her lives. In fact, that every parasitical scum royal can start hard labor i'm sure we'll find some in fact in fact it just so happens russia offered to take them off our hands and put them in the gulags i think that would be a good place for them teenagers dying shooting hours apart boy 16 killed for four miles from where girl 17 gunned down all part and parcel of what they're going on because they want chaos in the streets so that they can bring their new world order out of said chaos I Sci uh, scientists cannot say nerve agent came from Russia Salisbury attack takes new twist after UK's top defense lab admits it cannot trace poison head of Porton down says government would have used 
Other sources to identify Russian link. Number 10 insists that Kremlin has was behind the assassination attempt of Sergei Skripal. And what you can believe us because we've never lied in the past. When we say we're going to do something, we do exactly the opposite. Oh yeah, that's what they've done. Judas Rao Cor uh, Corbyn defends meeting with left-wing group. Apparently they're left-wing, no evidence of that, but apparently they are. Uh, teens are la latest London victims. Hmm. Express. Get well soon, sir. Slave I remain, sir. Prince Philip in hospital for hip hop. It's a shame it wasn't a brain op because he needs a transplant to an actual decent brain instead of the messy mush of mew he's got in there at the moment. Why is very uncivil war? Drive by murder shocks Britain. How many more innocents must die before we get rid of corn? <clears throat> Gangs out of control as youth worker 17 dies in mother's arms. And it's all been blamed on Khan because it's all his doing. <coughs> but we'll just leave him in his job because he's, you know, he's working for, the, for us, so he's doing a damn good job because this is the sort of shit we want. High Priestess of Pop marries Alan Carr. I think this must be an April Fool's Day joke or something like that. Star. Kicking off today, our brilliant new oh, columnist, Dawn Neeson, who knows shit all about shit. Corey's back from dead farce. Fans ridicule Killer Pat's return. <clears throat> so it's not popular there either. And of course, a uh, semi-naked girl, Abby Shaw, looks great. Whoever that is, I'm guessing it's Abby Shaw, but you, know, you just never know. <coughs> the anything but independent. Just a child caught in, up in stupid war. Scientists are unable to prove link between Russia and Salisbury nerve agent, so therefore we can only come to one conclusion. It was a British version of it. FT. Spotify on song for debut after tech slide. Disney offers deal for Sky News to ease fears of Murdoch's power. Um, Fox hopes to con of controlling pay TV group boosted regulations, political objections eased. Well, you know, he's one of them. Murdoch's one of them scumbags, so he's going to get away with whatever he wants to get away with anyway, isn't he? Because at the end of the day, the power is dissipating on a daily basis. Less and less are reading these rags because uh, they realise it's absolute propaganda and nothing of any use can be put, got from it apart from to lie in your pocket from the coppers that you have to pay for these rags. 